All right, you guys know this was worth the video. This was a long time coming and here it is. It's finally ready. This is a 1995 Europa. It's 23 feet long and it's got a 5.9 liter Cummins diesel in it. This thing is legit. This is considered a class B van. It's got dualies in the back, fronties in the front. I don't know what that means. It's got a six Onan generator. Is it a six kilowatt? I don't even know. 5.5, pretty much six. Not Onan, Generac. It shows how much I care about generators. LOL, generators are cool if you need them. But this rig does not need it because it's got 1200 watts of solar. The holy grail of solar. Honestly, I couldn't fit any more solar in this thing if I tried. The whole roof is jam-packed full of solar. And the whole RV is jam-packed full of features. I'll be showing it to you. That's a built-in spare in the back here. Hitch in the back, hitch in the front. Diesel power. Um, it has the stadium lights. Bing, bing. Two on the other side, one on the back and the front. It's got built-in compartments with tubular locks all across the whole thing. I added 5,000 uh, pound. Yeah, it is 5,000 pounds, 2,500 pounds each bag. Airbags, I also put in QA1 coilover shocks. The back is stiff as uh, Ron Jeremy in the 90s, I don't know. I also took the rooftop AC so I can add more solar and I put in a louvered vent with an AC inside. And this is what it looks like here. The cutout fortunately, hello, hi. Uh, the cutout fortunately uh, for my fortune was in between two beams, lucky for me, which um, allowed the AC to vent out from the back. That's what it looks like right there. Those are the awning uh, legs. There's an awning, an A&E Horizon, a handless crank awning. I also put in a LED strip, an RGB LED strip. Any color you want shines underneath the awning. Just think about that. Think about the awning being pulled out, nighttime coming around, and the LED strip being right there. Super exciting. Um, another storage from the outside. You could put, you know, gas tanks and things like that in there. Um, this is an electric um, outlet strip. So basically the inside, this is charged. I was actually charging my Chevy Volt off of this. Um, it takes take two days if you're interested in knowing. Those are the nozzles for the airbags. There's just so much going on here. It's absolutely incredible. Um, door, the door has got this sort of thing where it stops it from going back and closing on you. You got a screen door. Um, oh, step that opens up. I mean, honestly, this thing is teeming. This is real glass, not plastic. This is real aluminum and it's got a gasket that's replaceable if need be. Um, this step is automatic. You can make it non-automatic, but if the keys are in the ignition, then it is automatic no matter what you tell it to do. 13.0 uh, battery, 300 amp hours of battery. I mean, honestly, look at that. I don't even have to move. This thing is so filled with stuff. Just looking around. Power heated mirrors, tow style. Um, this is the interior. It is freaking incredible. Europa was made by USA. It was called USA Motorhome and it later turned into Dynamax. So that's when you see those medium duty box trucks that have been turned into RVs. This is the predecessors for that. Um, these used to obviously have, um, oh, this is dirty. Um, this used to have a bulky flex steel seat. I took that out and I put in leather sports seats from a BMW. Basically this is 10 way, it goes that way, it goes this way, it goes up, it goes down, it goes backwards. These things hug on you so when your husband is driving rowdily you can whoop, or when your wife is driving rowdily, who knows, who cares. Anyways, man I'm so excited about this. Honestly it's just been so long I've been working on it and whatever. Anyways, 
custom dash, obviously that's cool in a sense, but also, you know, it's a one of a kind thing, fiberglass, so that goes with the territory. Here's one of my work gloves. Um, anyways, let's talk about the motor. The motor is a 5.9 liter Cummins, and that's, that's the holy grail of all diesel motors. I mean, people go back and forth and talk about it, but it's always in the conversation as to which ones are the best diesel motors ever. Why is it the best? Simple, easy to work on, gets massive horsepower if you wanted to, with ease. I'm talking like turn a screw on this thing and it will just freaking... I mean, it can peel out. I mean, that's where you see all those guys with the black diesel coming out. Now, obviously, this one is tuned for MPG. So, it gets us into the realm of it gets really good MPG. Um, close to 19 miles per gallon. This has got 410 gears, meaning it is a tow monster. It is geared for towing if you want it to. Tow hitch in the front and in the back. You could tow your boats. You could tow a trailer. You could tow your fun vehicle. Um... 5.9 liter Cummins has literally no electronics to it. There's no throttle position sensor. There is no oxygen sensor. There is no spark plugs. There is nothing that is electric, meaning this is the ultimate apocalyptic vehicle. Um, now, that doesn't mean that there's no electronics in the vehicle. Obviously, there's a tow brake controller, there's cruise control, there's AC, there's all kinds of stuff. I mean, this ICC flash flashes all of the lights, and that's kind of like a trucker thing when you're passing somebody and you want to say thank you, you flash, press that. Um, obviously, this is the com uh, compressor. You can adjust the airbags in the back and how stiff the vehicle is. But the motor itself, is incredibly simple incredibly simple motor and they are incredibly forgiving meaning this motor look how simple that is everything is accessible and not only that but it is also accessible from the backside i mean this is a mechanic's dream accessibility from all areas including a doghouse i mean a cummins with a doghouse in the back so you can get into all the areas that you need to in the back anyways these are called the million mile motors um and they just work amazingly dual batteries starting battery and uh, uh, coach battery but this is just a vector and this actually helps with the charging of the lithium battery evens out the alternator so the alternator isn't overcome by the lithium battery in the back it's essentially a buffer um, so anyways <laughs> if you haven't noticed this is essentially a Plymouth van <laughs> um, and it's a Plymouth van that is an RV so I mean they really stuck with the lining the lines of the Plymouth van those are dualies 16 inch that's the front hitch I put a front step on it and I also took the liberty of putting in a front lip so the front lip helps with um, letting the air go around the RV uh, rather than l making the RV, uh, squishing the air underneath the RV, which helps with MPG. Uh, cameras all around. Let's talk about that really quickly. Um, oh, I, before I get there, I rhino lined all of the steps getting into this RV. So instead of having that tape stuff that basically lasts a couple of years and leaves a sticky residue, I took that out and I put rhino liner. Easy as that. Wherever I can have storage, lightweight storage as possible. This um, is the light bar. So that turns on the patio lights, turn on right there. LED strip is hooked into the patio lights. Again, any color you want pretty easily. And where is the, oh, that is the um, thing for the IR sensor. So you can control that by going into, if I can get this thing to control. Huh, okay, well, for some reason, this doesn't want to be controlled. I'm not sure why. Okay. Anyways, um, this is a USB uh, thing. Obviously, you guys all know about that. We can turn that off. I will 
have to find out why this isn't changing colors. I wonder if it's the controller inside there that is just uh, doesn't like being inside there. Ah, very upsetting. Okay, um, eye lights controlled right there. And this is what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to change colors. Those change colors as well. And it all does music too. So if you're turning on the music, all of this stuff will bump. Boom, boom, boom. And I'll try that in just a second. So turn that off. Turn this off. There we go. And we'll turn this back on. Okay. All right. Back to it. These are the lights on the outside. Click, 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 click. So there's one here, two, three, four, basically stadium lights. You can control them all right here. Um, the front headlights have LED bulbs in there with the little fans and stuff like that. So that's been upgraded. This is the auto dump feature. So while, you know, if you want to drive and you have your tanks filled with ethical stuff, Dr. Bronner stuff that, that's biocompatible, and you want to just dump that or something like that, you can press this button, dump your tanks. Cruise control, RPM meter, boost meter, power windows, power door locks with keyless entry, and it has a Viper alarm, so you can have it um, lock and unlock that way um, through keyless entry, power seats, and the seats also retract this way, so you can move this around basically. Uh, this didn't come with any tables, so I built two lagoon tables like that. Nice lagoon tables, and they both fit into each other like this. Ah, oh, man, so much. Okay, so comes out of the way, comes out of the way like that. We have the sink, oversized, overbuilt sink with built-in cutting board, built-in strainer for your dishes, and built-in vegetable washer. Also put in a Moen sink, or excuse me, a Moen faucet with the detachable head and the locking, uh, is this a locking feature? No, this actually changes the spray pattern. Mm, there we go. Stove with oven. That's the AC from the front. You just basically turn it on, or you can turn it on using one of the remotes right here. And you can set the temperature down to 60, uh, it all does, it only does 62 uh, Fahrenheit. And then you can set the, uh, where is it, mode. And then you could do auto, and then you will hear the uh, compressor turning on. You just heard it right now. Okay, for mica, everything's from mica, so it's wood, so it's very easy to clean, it doesn't scratch or anything like that. Vinyl on the inside, and this sort of arctic insulation that Chinook made famous. These are the cameras on the outside. Um, so I'm turning this on, and basically this is a camera system that will monitor while you're gone. You can turn this on, you could turn it on while you're sleeping, and it's got four cameras, one on the front, one on the back, and two on the sides looking back this way at an angle, and we will basically get to see that right now. You see that? Okay. Front, back, side, inside and you see that button right there it's recording there's an SD card built into it and you know if you see something um, so yeah why did I do it this way I made the front camera look very much forward um, as much as possible so we got view of the front as much as possible the back is just looking down a little bit I guess I could have it look way more backwards you could always adjust these cameras and then the sides are in the front and they're almost like side view cameras and they are basically this one is on that side and it is just basically going that way and that one's that way. Anyways, you know, if you see something go bump in the night, you can look it up and see what's going on. That's basically it. These are the visors. Um, I also, it didn't have any curtains going around the front, so I put in this I-beam aluminum um, 
curtain rail and I made custom curtains that will basically go all the way around and close up really nicely. Um, I put cus uh, cup holders in these because without these cup holders, these cup holders are useless. So you twist them and now they're good. And I also put cup holders right here. So you could put your little Keats coffee or whatever here. And that's what it looks like. It's got this really cool A-pillar window here. Um, a blind spot mirror that's super huge. This doesn't really get controlled. This is the only one that gets controlled. This is basically controlled with your, um, with your fingers. And what else? Uh, this is the doghouse. The doghouse had a hole right here. I think it had something at some point. Honestly, I've been working on this thing for so long, I forget. I took that out and I haven't really put this in here. This actually came out of a Datsun 85 Datsun. It fit perfectly in here. Um, I could glue it in here or something, but I don't like how it steals a little bit of the room that's in here. There's more room than, and I just kind of haven't really made a decision on that yet. Vinyl all over here. Let me take this out. Um, what else? What else? Hour counter, counter on the generator is 100 hours. Generator, you could turn it on from here. Emergency start, overdrive, uh, cancellation, so you don't have that last year. Um, map lights turns on these lights right here. Um, I also put in, um, first because you know, you have to have lights also in the driver area if you're trying to look at a map or whatever so i put in a, a this is just you know there was nothing here before and actually this is that this is quite interesting <coughs> excuse me okay so this used to have that big old tv thing here you guys remember those big old like crt tvs that would be here well that used to be here and every time you would get up and this happened to me one time i'm cracking my neck just thinking about it and you know how like when you get up you're you're getting up i i smacked my head here and it wasn't really my head my neck freaking went sideways so and i realized these the last guy that sold me this thing had tape coming down here so he would see the tape before getting up and i was like that's crazy took it all out and I basically rebuilt this thing and I basically just rebuilt the whole thing so that basically this is inside access there is storage here and um and and yeah I just I just basically rebuilt that honestly it's crazy there's so much going on here there was something here too that went all the way out here and I took that out it was like a, 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 a radio CB radio or something like that um, you know it's so funny at first I had no idea that I thought these were just stay stand stay still but apparently these uh, basically come completely out of the way speakers for all the sides there's two here and I'm almost positive there's speakers back here uh, yeah there is all the way back here so if your girlfriend's sleeping or your wife's sleeping or your husband's sleeping while you're driving you're good sleeping arrangements Morgadel Ikea Morgadel bed cup holder storage a fan for white noise really awesome um, light here um, a light strip here same thing turns on and off does boom boom with the music and you can change the colors um, I added a little bit of spice with this uh, Nordic wallpaper here and here just to give it a little bit of flair and get rid of that 80s um, 80s paper cup look uh, I also did it here because this is also a bed so this also needs a cup holder storage and fans electric turn on water heater uh, furnace thermostat took out the uh, AC and I put in this uh, fan that does everything electronically opens and closes electronically has 10 speeds and it has a rain sensor and it's a smoked thing so it's got the smoked uh, what you would call it um, uh, knife lock holder magnet doesn't go doesn't turn doesn't fall out when you're driving um, upgraded the fan here so this is actually a radiator fan that a hobbyist would put in their dirt bike so it's super strong um, I put in this uh, backsplash that's made of metallic uh, metallic backsplash thingies 
Oh my god, I'm going too fast. Um, these have their turning features, so you can easily turn them around and look back there. Honestly, with this layout, I'm not really quite sure why you would, but I did make this expandable countertop, um, and that's just, you know, it's when you're cooking and stuff like that. You can also use this table while you're cooking, so you just have tables galore. Um, this table stows away this way when you're, when you're, um, when you're driving. Um, and this table, I took a little picture and put it in the ad. Um, you obviously want to have this seat this way when you're maneuvering this table. But once you're done, is it going to, is it going to fight me? There we go. Um, you can actually have a table so that, you know, you can, you can eat while you're driving. Um, I'm not saying it's legal or anything like that, but my girlfriend loves to go back there and make a little cheese plate and we are going to eat um, while I'm driving. Because hey, that's what an RV is all about. You don't have to stop at tourist traps and eat somewhere, um, some, some trash food that somebody made just to get rich off you. Um, this is where this lives when, and of course you can tighten all of these down and they won't move. And so basically this turns into an armrest when you're hanging out on this table. Um, this is obviously a futon that pulls out and turns into a bed. And this just has two little latches right here that close up. Um, okay, uh, so let's just pretend it's nighttime. We're about ready to go to sleep. We've been keeping cool with the AC on all day. Probably don't need the AC during the night and probably the battery can't really support the AC once the sun's gone down. Let's be honest here, unless you upgrade the battery or add two more batteries. Um, right now there's 300 uh, amp hours there, probably need two more. Anyways, we close these guys up, close them up, turn off all the lights, and now um, we could probably keep this on because we want to see what's going on. We open this. Oh, check this out. See, it just comes right out of the way. And you know, I actually kind of like having these down and look at that. Now, um, there is a caveat. This is actually an upright projector that was that I've, ad that I've adapted using um, quick, these are actually, <laughs> these are actually CB radio um, walkie talkie holders that I basically adapted to be, and I put, anyway, so much stuff. Um, so basically the way this stays down is I have just a little bit of a, a little bit of a foam piece that just wedges right in there and you see my hand is wedged in there and that's all it takes to have this closed down. But so we're just gonna let it come back up as much as it wants to. We're gonna turn this off and basically, um, I'll turn this on. Well, basically have a uh, a projector and I'll probably set this up better close this off have it be nighttime and I'll take a picture of this and it is pretty cool y'all it is pretty cool I'll probably do you know I, I, I don't know how fast this is gonna sell but I'm gonna use it until it sells there's something going on on the 14th there's winter there's a solstice happening uh, and we're invited up we're gonna go to Oregon we're gonna have some fun in this if it doesn't sell I'm not even tripping honestly because this thing is freaking cool honestly this would be the rig if I was stuck with the rig this would be the rig that I would want to be stuck with so projector and I gotta say I built this thing as if I was gonna keep it and I'm gonna be a little bit sad but because I put so much time into it but um either way anyways um so this is how we close this up now I did notice something I did notice that when I was driving there was something there we go I think it's this way there was something that was clinking I was clinking now you'll see I actually did as much as I could you could see I even hooked this here and and the wise the wise people of you will know what I used I, these are um these are uh gosh bungees the like rubber bungee co bungee straps I don't know what the heck okay but there was a little bit of a something. There was something. And I, I think I'm going to have to 
I'm gonna have to do something uh, else about this. I might take these rivets out and remove this because this isn't that necessary. You can grab it from here, but I have to soundproof this or remove it. Or, you know, honestly, I drove for a couple minutes and I got used to the sound, but I'm not about that life. I'm not about getting used to stuff. Um, anyways, these are these like special type of blinds that they're sort of taut on their own and they just you just push them up you push them down you could see I put the reflectics here and this window and this window are the same thing so the idea here is um, okay so I also made this too for the AC so this is a little um, that's for that window over there and that's a little it's special that window is huge that window is like almost 79 inches across and 40 inches going this way so I actually glued these pieces of wood these pieces of thin wood so that it would hold its shape going that way so if you are going to use the AC you would obviously close oh my lord I guess this is a good time to talk about these these cabinets. These cabinets have these lockers. All of these cabinets have them. So when you're driving down the road, you can lock all of them up. Now, that being said, I had to move these cabinets down for this strip, for this LED strip up here and up here. And because of that, I could have added like something to latch them, but I realized that these have these shocks in them. And I've seen so many of them I mean, I guess you could do it if you have a, like a lot of stuff that are in, but usually I've found that you don't really need the lockers for these. Now you could always add like a little thing, the locker is still there, you could add it there if you wanted to. I would much rather put a tiny piece of board right here and then have, because the idea here is these are never open on their own. You know what? I'm 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 kind of being like I'm a little I'm being what's the word inauthentic here. It would be cool to have these closed. I just didn't want to do the work, but I guess I can do the work. Anyways, back to the thing. If the sun is on this side, you close this blind. You you close all the blinds. You close all the blinds. If the AC is on, you close everything up. You make sure the sun can't get inside and you hang out you hang out inside with with no with no sun now obviously i made one reflectix because the sun's either going to be on one side or the other so once the sun is on this side you know honestly at that point it'll probably be setting and underneath the bed, you could switch the reflectix from that side to this side or i can make another reflectix honestly reflectix is a dime a dozen um but anyway that's a blind you got locking windows on all sides with locking screens uh, these screens are actually kind of cool. They're they're removable. Uh, uh, they're movable, so you can actually like pass things to somebody down there. So I really like the setup. I like when screens could actually move with the window. Um, this uh, kitchen sink has a slight uh, tilt to it, so it can move, uh, so the water doesn't get stuck in it. And I think honestly, it's kind of interesting. I'm almost done here. Uh, you got the 1200 watts of solar and uh, basically the way I did it is I put 40 amp uh, charge controllers. So 1200 divided by three. So that's how it's working out. Uh, I'm so f funny. It's like basically three, six, nine. So four, uh, four, eight, twelve. So 400 watts is going to each one, 40 amps right there. And it all basically goes underneath here. And this bed has st storage underneath it. Oh, it's, getting, it's getting stuck on that little thing right there. Oh, it's never happened before. Isn't that funny? Okay, I'm not going to push it too much. I uh, I think I re... There it is. Okay. All right. So, this is the setup here. Do I still have the white angle? Yes, I do. Inverter, 3,000 watts. Um, battery, 300 amp hours. You got off switches everywhere. You got um, cutoff switches. Um, this is... So, if you do end up using the generator for anything, what will happen is the generator will charge the battery very fast. This is um, 
I think this is 1500 watts, so it'll charge at 50 or 60 amps, like legit amps, and then this will also charge as well. So if you ever do need to use a generator, it will most likely be to charge the batteries. Um, oversized cables, on off switch right here. Um, I got, oh, excuse me, I got a um, transfer switch, automatic transfer switch, so you don't ever have to worry about the inverter kaputting. Um, the water tanks over here, pretty large water tank, hot water heater is right there. Um, and yeah, it's all basically right here. Um, I made these curtains. So these curtains are blackout curtains. I really like this material. And um, this is a uh, carpet that uh, works really well with the setup. Um, I just don't want to get it dirty because my yard is dirt. Um, inside the shower, got a walk-in shower. Excuse the dirtiness. Um, so anyways, curtain, uh, curtain for the shower that matches everything. Uh, a liner as well. Um, LED around here because there's no light before. There is a skylight up here because this pops up like a few inches. So they did that. Uh, a vent, a fan, it's all, you could turn it on from over here. All right, flushing toilet, a bidet. This is for like a, a broom. This is a, this is the, um, this is the blind for the shower. Um, valances, valances, I'm not really sure how you say it, on all three of these. And, oh my God, that's it, I think. So the last thing I wanna say is, with this guy, to open the fridge, you actually have to get this out. And honestly, there is nothing else I could do about this because if I put this on this side, you couldn't get this uh, couch to open. And we obviously, this is a two-person rig at the very least, and two people need a place to eat. And with the way I have this set up with, with, these, um, with these things, it just worked out. I mean, it was way too cool to not do it. Okay. Anything else? I guess we're gonna do a drive now. So I'm gonna tighten these down a little bit more. I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to turn that off. Oh, um, I forgot about this guy. This is a door. So there was no door here. I mean, honestly, how can you people, how can people live with these things without all these features? And I mean, freaking door, you know? How can you not have a door there? And this is a door. And you know, a lot of times I like to think about my precious little girlfriend and the things that she's gonna want. And I'm like, you know what? She needs to have blackout nest. She needs to have a little bit of fan and she needs to have a door. So if I'm outside and I'm putting around and all this stuff, she won't get messed with. Um, obviously all of this is done custom lid and this door is supposed to fit right in here like that and you can just sort of hear a little bit of the dampening noise that it does it does a really good job of dampening the noise and um yeah um carpets were ripped out and we put in uh final flooring beach vinyl flooring. All right. Um, and I think we're pretty much done. I'm gonna turn stuff off, turn, 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 turn. And I'll show you guys how it drives. You guys hear that? That's the step disengaging. Um, these guys have their own things, so these curtains don't flail around turns right on. All right. All the gauges work. Three-point harness seat belt. I'll let this car go around. 